That Brooklyn bullshit, we on it. That Brooklyn bullshit, we on it. That Brooklyn bullshit, we on it. Welcome to What You Think, baby. My new co host, G Money in the building. My man Jamal, baby. What's good, baby? Yo, what you think, baby? What's going on? What you think, baby? Let's get it popping. Yes, sir. What you man? think, America? Yo, I'm chilling, man. What you think, bro? Yeah, we're going to get it popping, man. So what you want to talk about, baby? Man, we can talk about a little bit of any, little bit of this, a little bit of that, man. But, right. you know, it's, being that this election is on the, on, the, on the horizon, we need to touch base on that. Yeah, so what you think about your boy Trump? He from, he from, he from Queens, G. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he might be from Queens. I just got Trump. <laughs> 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 Yo, Queen, oh, man. Queen nah, man. I ain't feeling your man. Right. Your man. I don't feel none of them, man. It don't make a difference to me, man. I don't feel neither one of them. I you just know, feel like, I just too. feel like, go ahead, G, go ahead, finish. No, nah, go ahead, brother. I was just saying it's like trying to pick the lesser of two evils, man. I don't like neither one of them either. At you the know? end of the day, the lesser of two evils is still going to be an evil. But yeah. me... I'm looking at it like the Republican, and you and you heard it right, the Republican and the Democrats, they don't do anything for us because we hoe our we we just we just hoe ourselves to them without getting anything. That's just what I feel about it. I think you hit it, I think you hit the nail, I think you hit it right on, on point right there. We do hoe ourselves to them. We don't get shit. Nothing. Yeah. They treat us like redheaded stepchildren, man. As soon as they get in the office, we on we on the we on the ride with them in the car until they as soon as they get in the office, the door open and they kick us right out. And we just rolling down the street. Yeah. Well, that's because we don't have nobody that's riding for us. That's the whole thing, is we don't have a politician that we paid for because these people pay for their politicians to do things for them. And we don't have the resources to do that. We don't have nobody backing us. That's why we fail all the time. Then you get these Johnny Come Lately guys that show up and say that they're going to help us and they're going to do all this, that, and another for you. It sounds real good during election, but after they get elected, it's the same story, man. We're still in the same struggle. So the answer is we got to stick together. If we got to stick together as a whole and, and pull together as a whole to make things happen, man. But that's not going to happen. We're not going to stick together. We're not gonna do that. We I don't know why. For some reason, we will be the only race that will not stick together. We just won't do it. We gotta unbrainwash ourselves to have that mentality, man. Because we all, you know, what I'm saying, we for, for hundreds of years now. You know what I'm saying? We all been following the same, the same mode, the same, and believing the same thing, man. It's time to have new thinking, new ideas, move different ways, man, to make things work. Let's let's try to stick together this time and see what happens. Just because I well, so I'm gonna say together. this, right? I don't mean to cut you off, bro, but I'm gonna just say this: in order to get something that you've never had, you have to do something that you have never done. And us as a unit, if we don't stand strong, everything will continue to happen. And as far as I'm gonna just want to go back to what you said about us not having nobody to hold us down. We need to have ourselves to hold us, uh, us down because at the end of the day, we can't look at all of these celebrities, these black celebrities, we can't look at them mm -hmm. to want to help us. We have to do it ourselves because we, we the ones that's in this fight. Those celebrities, they deal with a different type of racism. They deal with it too. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. They deal with the same, they deal with it on a different level. Cause you know, yeah. as they say, new level, new devil. So we have to deal with it. We listen, as they say, shit rolls downhill. They up there, we down here, and the shit gonna roll downhill. Excuse my expression. I told my wife I wasn't gonna curse, but I just had to use that analogy. But but what we really have to deal in, in, in our community, uh, the number one thing we have to deal with mental health. We are really mentally screwed up. Come on, the the the, the walk around call your women bitches and do the shit we do. It's a, it had to be something mental with us. It's no way in the world. 
that this is normal. This is not normal. And not only and not only calling our women bitches and hoes, we call each other nigga, my nigga. This and it's it is crazy. I know you That's know we say real... you know, we say son. We don't say man. we say yo my yo son. Oh. Fellas, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we, we, we doing a lot right now because there's this this whole lot within what we just saying that covers so many different things. But I am gonna say this, man. I don't know, man. I just feel like it might be a like you know what I'm saying? The right people, we all can you know what I'm saying do what we need to do to help the, the better good, man. I don't think it's a lost cause. I really don't. Well, what's the solution? If I had to The solution is group economics. No, power. That, power. Yeah, that's I'm, one of them. Power ep economics, really. Yeah, but that come, power economics come with a group. Because you know when group, in, 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 but, in a group, that's the strength, is when your strength is always in numbers. But you because, have to you know, you, because, you know, you got hold on more. I mean to cut you off, but listen, we're already at a fault because the simple fact is this: black people spend their money with everybody. You have different groups of people that spend their money within their own community and for the better of the community. We are the only people that spend our money with everybody. So, th so we're already starting off wrong. You know what I'm saying? We don't have, you know what I'm saying? We got black businesses that we can spend our money with and feel proud about. But it's not that many of them for us to sustain a real lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So we're already at a fault there. You're being you know what I'm saying? You're 100 percent factual on that. That's what we have to practice that more. You know what I'm yeah, saying? But, but but black people gotta stock their stores that's too. You can't walk in the store and there's three bag of potato chips and two sodas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, Lamar. Real, there we are seriously. <laughs> Nick, you I'm serious. Yeah, I mean, that's true, too, but I'm saying we ain't going to try to come at it like it's a weed spot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the only, listen, oh. the only businesses that thrive in the black neighborhood is the barbershop. But shit, niggas, I mean, excuse me. <laughs> they go to Dominicans now to get their cuts. <laughs> they go to Dominicans to get their hair cuts now. All right, listen, listen. Dominicans are black too. They just black people that speak Spanish. I know. That's, and they can, and they can go swim. Go, and they go, can go, swim. Go. So, you know, they don't like to hear that, but oh well. But guess That's what? That's it. Because more, I just had. You messed them up more. Everybody black, let that sink in, and that's really gonna mess them up. If oh, they listen, really, listen, man, that, that's gonna. I had, really a, I had a, I had this dude at the job, right? This dude, young, young Dominican brother, he was talking all types of nonsense to me, and I was like, "Yo, man, Dominican Republic became a country in like 1844. What was it before that?" And he looked at me crazy, and I was like, "Yeah, 1844." And I said, go there. I said, what was it in 1843, 1842? What was that then? And I said, before it became Haiti, what was it? He couldn't even tell me. So I explained to him and then he tried to tell me, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I could have told you the name of the country was, was pissed and you couldn't tell me I was wrong. Right. Cause you don't even know it. Talking about the Dominican Republic always, always existed. I said, yeah, since 1844, brother. Don't get it twisted. So let me ask you a question. What you think about, what y'all think about the music, the rap game now? Okay, now, rap, are you saying rap? You know. Thank well, you. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really MC, I'm, I like MC, you know. I really, I mean, Russell, yeah. MC. I'm not, I'm not a fan of what they call this stuff today. I'm not a fan of what they call hip hop today. I'm not. Because it went away from MCing. Thank you. These dudes got catchy jingles. I don't understand half the stuff they say. And two, I don't know none of these people. I got to talk to my nephews or my son to find out who dudes are. 
I didn't know who ASAP Ferg was until I saw um I heard the spicy song. He had been around for a while. I mean, I'm, I'm terrible. So I'm terrible. I'm keeping it hundred. But I well, like these. I like some of these cats. When I listen to them, I like them. Yo, right? Mark, listen. I kind of pride myself. <laughs> my baby, right now, this is what I. This is what I have to say. Number one, I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling like this generation now, just like you. But I have my own reasons why. My generation, we had individuality, right? Everybody came out, we, we sounded like ourselves. Nowadays, everybody sound like the last dude. Y'all all rap the same. Everybody got the same rap style. It seemed like you used the same producer. You got the same, it's got the same beats. So, you know, in my eyes, I'm sorry, but it's just in my opinion. It's, it's a street club beat. Saying the shit's trash. Just well, you got to look at it because back back in our time, if you paid attention to a lot of these dudes, remember everybody went to the crime rounds. Everybody was selling drugs. No, you know, no. everybody was shooting up. And listen, everybody was selling drugs. Hold on, hold we on. We had our conscious rap. Don't get it twisted. Thank but you. all of the dudes that spoke against the rap, everything was exactly the same. Not necessarily. Want to know why? I'm going to tell you why, yeah. brother. The, the difference was everybody had different styles, Maul. This is what I'm saying. You know I'm what I'm just, saying? Listen, you, I understand they had different styles, but you was, you was rapping on I, the same I, subject. One song. And Child Called Quest did not sound like N.W.A. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody had their own lane. I could be rapping about the same things, but everybody sound different. Everybody had their own sound. The signature sound, whether there was a yeah, one I know that today everybody sound exactly the same right now. Thank you. That's it's, all. it's like they only like you said. Even though, even though Hit Boy, Hit Boy is is a dope producer. He is a dope producer because let me just I say the King's Disease. I just want to say this one thing, and this is all I'm going to say. The difference is not only is it oh man. <laughs> These dudes here, man, it's like, it's kind of like a, a monkey see, monkey do type of thing. You understand? It's like one dude gets a wave and a flow that sounds good and it becomes a hit. And the next man that's coming out, they, you ain't never heard nothing from him, steals that idea, that same flow and everything. And he now he's the next new thing. I don't appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? That's well, cool. I mean, you know, biting has been part of part of hip hop since hip hop is been biting in existence. Was loud. Biting was never allowed in hip hop, bro. And, but you know, I mean, it's yeah, some, you, it's some, you, got, you got caught biting, you got they you niggas called. Well, you well, yeah. you got to look at it from this point of view. Now you have to look at it from this point of view. Just because tell you don't know who bit, you don't know who bit off of who if the other artists never came out. Because you got to look at a lot of guys with signed artists now we, we and, got you. and oh, then well. give, give an established artist that person's style and just keep him off to the back burner. And, that's the, and that artist will st straight bite the whole style from him. But you don't know it because that other artist never hit the mainstream. Nobody never knew that. Yeah, it that happens. That's a simple case of, um, you know what I'm saying, the uh, Rapper's Delight thing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, of course. And I was going to say that with the Rapper's Delight. Of course. You know I what I mean? Understand that. You know. I can so see let, me ask you, let me ask you, what you think? Uh, virtual Rap, Outcast, Mob Deep, who you got? Stop playing, man. Stop playing. <laughs> That's not even. You got G. I'm not trying to disrespect nobody or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? But I got, I'm going to keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? Outcast ain't fucking with no mob beat. You don't think you don't think Outcast, you don't think Andre 3000 is fucking with Mob Deep? Outcast good. And, and I like Outcast. I'm not I'm not trying to shit on, on them or nothing. I'm just keeping this just my opinion. You're not fucking with the mob though. Like, you know what I'm saying? That that's cool. What you think, Jamal? Well, you, I'm looking at it from this point of view. No but, New York dude is gonna ever go against the grain when it comes to that. Because it's a New York sound. But 
I don't discredit what Outkast did because Outkast was one of my one of my favorite groups. Yeah. Period. Period. I don't like to compare anybody. Again, they Outkast had their own sound. Well, they had their own thing. But that's I don't like to compare about. anything. Yeah. It's hard. That's hard, man, because they um, came both from the nineties now. Come on with that. It's hard. It came out at the same yeah. time now. Uh, at the same time. Ever. And everything that was going on, the atmosphere, we we all lived it, man. You know what I'm saying? It was some rough times. It was it was the realest times. If you lived it, you know what I'm saying? You are blessed. You know what I'm saying? But for that atmosphere, that mob deep, you know what I'm saying, became anthems for a lot of people, man. Well, mob deep, mob deep, being that I got a little a little background with them brothers. They were poetical prophets before they became mob deep. I know that. In case any of y'all don't. I know that. You know, they were poetical prophets. You know what I mean? They had their song, Hit It From The Back. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know. Album, <laughs> brother. So, so let, me yeah. ask you, let me ask you fellas this. What y'all think about the 50 Little Wayne Ice Cube getting caught up with Donald Trump, that thing? Well, I'm going to look at it from this point of view. If you go down in the history of presidencies, you have a lot of black people that actually sat in the office with a president to try to iron out something and get something for black people. I don't know what's going on. I don't, I'm not going to speculate on anything. I'm not going to speculate and say anything because what we know is that the media lies and twists everything. Facts. You know, we quick as black people to cancel everybody. We cancel everybody. You know what I mean? They wanted to cancel Steve Harvey. Then he became everybody's uncle again. Like, because he had a meeting with people. And I'm listening to a lot of, you know, I listen to D.L. Hughley a lot too. And he was critical of what Ice Cube did. But I didn't hear too much criticism when Steve did that. Right. So I don't, you know, it is what it is, man. No, if I'm not if they can get something that had, had, had him uh when when uh when he, he when Steve tried to align with him. I think DL got at him. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't I don't know if he got at him to the to the level that a lot of people get in the ice cube right now. But Ice Cube whole thing was like, I'm meeting with everybody. We don't know who the president is gonna be. Yeah. But to see he the wanted thing, to meet with everybody. Listen, but you know, the thing is with Ice Cube, he he reached out to everybody. Those were the only people yes, that he did. So now why are you getting mad if I try to reach out to y'all and y'all didn't say nothing, you know what I'm saying? But they answered me. So, you know what I'm saying? We just gonna talk. My thing is this, I think Lil Wayne. 50 and, and everybody else that's aligning themselves with Trump is it's all business at the end of the well, day. I mean, from what I hear, I don't know if it's true, but you're talking about he don't want to pay tax, he don't want to pay higher taxes. I'm, that's but. what I'm trying to get at. That's what I'm trying to get at. I was gonna say that, you know what I'm saying? These guys looking for tax breaks, man. Because we all know that Donald Trump looks out for the rich. So they try well, to, all of them do. So they trying to They all look out for the rich. Too, bro. That's all. So, so let me ask you, you guys some questions. What you think about the Jaguar, Jaguar um, situation, right situation? You think that she's telling the truth, or she's again? Or just I think. Listen, hey, she bro. had half a foot in the door. I'm not, I'm not willing to discredit anything that sister said, and I'm not willing to credit everything she said because we at the end of the day we really truly don't know right but i know there's some weird stuff that go on out there i know there's weird stuff that go on everywhere we see it in the hood we grew up all in the hood we always had these weirdos out here right it's a bunch of weirdos man we don't know if she's telling the truth or not but at Listen. the end of the day i don't hear nobody trying to come out and debunk what she's saying either listen at the end of the day there's always three sides of the story. Your story Yours, theirs, the truth. And the truth. Straight up. That's all I can say. That's all I got to and say. And the truth, and the truth is always jaded because now everybody is telling their truth, not the truth, 
but my truth or your truth or his truth is not the truth. It's the truth according to you. Well, you're not, when you just speaking the truth, the truth is what it is. A version of the truth. Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna speak my truth. Yeah. Don't make it the right. It don't make it right, but it's gonna be your truth. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, yo, fellas, man, we running out of time, baby, on what you think, baby. But just everybody, this is my new co-host, baby. We get ready to rip it, baby. Tell yes, them, sir. G, we get ready to rip it. Yes, sir. We about to take over, baby. Y'all ain't even ready. They ain't ready, are they? Sad Queens and Brooklyn together. How y'all like that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's I what I'm talking it. about. So, so uh, one last thing before we go, what you think? Who you got on the election? Joe Biden. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> F, F all of them fools. <laughs> Re Republican, de Democrats, right wing, left wing, same damn bird. Chicken wing. <laughs> Put some hot sauce. And I want to just say this right, real quick, right? You know, people always like, you know, they want to talk about how disrespectful um, President Trump is, because I don't, you know. But the most disrespectful thing that I've ever seen was when Hillary pulled that hot sauce out of her bag. That was yeah, the that most disrespectful stuff that I ever saw. Yeah, that was <laughs> Yo, that was <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then she did, then she did the whip and nay nay. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Yo, bro. Well, that's why she can become president, bro. <laughs> yeah. But well, baby, old fellas, man, you know we gonna continue this, baby. We got, we are, we out of time. But next show, baby, stay tuned. My man G and Jamal in the building, baby. Yes, sir. What you think, baby? Peace, America. Peace, Peace kings and queens. Stay black, everybody, because we are all are black. Always remember that. Every last one of us. Exactly. Okay. All y'all black. Okay, all right. So Two. what you I'm gonna give what you think of. I wanna get y'all top fives before I leave. Jamal, what's your top five? Top five MCs. and what? MCs. MCs. I got Rock Him, KRS One. I got Ice Cube. I got LL. And I got Big. You got Big. Who you got, G? What you think? G rap, Nas. That's that queen shit right there, son. I Kim. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man. G rap, my man too, cause my man Bill Blast, God bless the dead, is oh. his right hand man. That was my man, Dusty. That's my man. So I fucks with. G oh, you got two more. You got two more. Nah, Big Pun was the last one. That was the fifth. That was the fifth, Big Pun. Okay, my top five: Big, Jay Z, Jada Kiss, Nas, Rock Kim, baby. I'm killing both of y'all. Never. Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. Never. LL put, right, put the business on everything. Right, LL that. went at everybody. Everything, bro. Yo, I can't wait till we can get all in the studio together when this pandemic bullshit is over with. I'm tired yes. of walking around looking like a surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> My mom always wanted me to be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, so it's next time, baby. What you think, baby? My man. G-Money, Jamal, baby, in the building, baby. What you think, baby? Ooh, we out here. What you think? Tim Simmer, who look in? Tim Brooklyn. Tim Simmer, who look in? Tim Brooklyn.